the handlebars are detached, so I'm going to cut them off, hopefully without cutting the um, paint off. Okay, handlebars are not detached, they're connected by the gear cables. I told you I don't know what I'm doing with bikes. I should really put a light on. Yeah. Because that's made a huge difference. Okay, so today's video is me unboxing my new bike. Simple as that. This is it here. This has been sat in my garage for the past seven days. Seven days ago, this was delivered. Oh, my missus has left the bin there. Right side there. Yes, perfect. And I haven't opened it. It's still in its box, as you can see. So I'm going to get some tools and we're going to get this bad boy cracked open. What I am going to do is get some light on the subject because it is very dark in here. Outside is a beautiful, beautiful spring day. It's like 20 degrees today. It's like the first evidence of spring this year, today. And I'm in my garage. Let's plug this in. That's, a, that's an incy wincy teeny weeny bit better. I have a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. This is gonna be the most frustrating video for anyone that knows bikes. I know nothing about bikes. However, one thing I did do, I'm gonna put this down for a second before I slice a finger off. One thing I did do was when it was, de when it was delivered by the delivery guy, he dragged it in for me and it weighs nothing. When I pick this up, it looks like it weighs an absolute ton. I nearly threw that through the window. I'm going to reveal, there's nothing written on that side, I'm going to reveal the name. Do you want to see the name? Before we do, I just want to do a really quick flashback before I open this to when I first got into cycling, or probably should say Zwifting, but Zwifting got me into cycling, or Zwifting eventually ended up in me buying a bike. Anyway, let's have a flashback. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'll put my coat on. It's really cold today. The item, if you can see it there, we've had a successful delivery. So the item's delivered this morning. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Yeah, it feels good. I like it. I'm happy with that. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna reveal the name of the manufacturer of the bike that I've bought. I'm contexting it now, but the only reason I bought this bike was through many different recommendations and reviews, and I got bored of watching YouTube videos about what bike to buy as a beginner. I was umming and ah in between buying a really basic decathlon bike as my first kind of proper big bike ride I've got coming up. In June, I've got the London to Brighton bike ride. So I needed something that would cover 60 odd miles. I was just gonna buy a basic one, but then I thought, what if I like it? I end up having to buy another one. So I just went for one that was kind of mid-range. I didn't go for the cheapest. I certainly didn't go for the most expensive. I went mid-range. I also went gravel bike. <laughs> oh! I bought a Ribble bike, baby. Ribble. I mainly bought it because I like the sound of the name. So that's the brand of my new bike. Let's crack it open. So what do we have? What do we have inside? Let's, let's go uh, disconnected off the tripod. It's a bike in bubble wrap. And we've got a box of some kind. Little sneaky sneak peek. And then we've got this box. So it's just the bike now to get out and then whatever's in this box. Let's put this back on the tripod. We have a ribble box. Let's open it. So inside we have warranty stickers. Hopefully I won't need them. 
we have a bag. In the bag, we have... Okay, we have some kind of tools, and then we have, looks like, some kind of air valve for the tyres. So in advance of opening this bike, I will say this is a gravel bike. I went for a gravel bike purely on the basis of where I live. I'm, I have two teenage kids. I'm hoping they want to come out on a bike ride with me. I've not been very successful in getting them running with me, but I might be able to get them out on a bike with me. So I've got a gravel bike because there's a load of footpaths and there's just B and A roads around where I live. So I don't really fancy the only time I can go out, I have to you know, kind of take my life in my own hands on the B roads. So even though I will be cycling on those roads, I also wanted the option of being able to go on some footpaths and you know, off road. So in here, oh, now we're talking. Funky looking spanner with some numbers on it. I have an Allen key. Looks like a sturdy Allen key, no Ikea nonsense. And uh, some kind of wrench thing and some spare screwdriver heads. Very good. This is the best bit. I got a bit worried then, because this looks like it's been greased up. We have a greasy looking seat. I'm assuming this is so as I can get it in easily. This is the seat that the uh, bike comes with. Uh, Sele Italia. I hope that I pronounce that better than Sean Zalise. Sean Zalise! Actually, the handlebars are detached, so I'm gonna cut them off. Hopefully without cutting the um, paint off. Okay. Handlebars are not detached. They're connected by the gear cables or the brake cables. I told you I don't know what I'm doing with bikes. That was easy. Right, this, this is the bike. I haven't taken the bits and pieces, I should probably take the bits and pieces off before I show it on camera. They wrap this up so much that you have to do brain surgery to open it without scratching it. And I appreciate they've got to get it delivered, but I also would like to open it I'm not sure what I'd trust more, me with a knife or DPD. I'm recording this in 4K. This is gonna be like a Googleplex size memory. Anyway, I'm gonna get this off. This isn't great viewing. Let's tidy up, it's like Christmas morning. That's the packaging off. I'm gonna to attempt to put the handlebars on. I'm also gonna to attempt to put the seat post on. Where is the seat? All right, here's the seat. I have absolutely no idea how high the seat needs to be. I'm gonna put the seat on. I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna put it in for now. Help if I put the seat the right way. I don't think I wanna ride this way. I'll just put it there for now. Please, before you jump into the comments, I am gonna measure this. I just wanna get the seat in. Okay, so that's the seat in. Let's now do the handle bars, which look very strange. What way? What way? Is it that way? Is the wheel the wrong way around? It can't be that way. It's got to be that way. To work out how to use this bike, I've got to scan this QR code. And I really can't be asked. But obviously, obviously that goes inside this hole here. Why is that coming this way? Okay, I've conceded. I'm going to scan. I'm going to scan this poxy PR code. I found a video tutorial made by Ribble. So buying a Ribble bike, I've bought one. How to set up your new Ribble bike. Today we're gonna to go through unboxing your brand new Ribble bike. Okay, I've unboxed it. Let's fast forward this. And this is where you get your four mil Allen key, clockwise. All right, I've done that. Uh, the stem cover at the front here. What's the stem, he's doing it so quickly. All right, let me do that. Let me do that. I'm gonna remove the stem cover, whatever that's called. Right, he removed this, but the thing is he had these the other way around. I'm thinking, my, what way round is his wheel? Right, so I've now managed to get this, this thing here, face, I don't know what this is called, but I've now managed to get this face in the right, the right way. I watched that Ribble YouTube video three times, and on all three occasions, the guy fitting the handlebars assumed I knew that this should be facing that way. When it's delivered, this is facing inwards, as you saw with my struggle a minute ago. I didn't realise that these here make it so as it spins that way. Anyway, I sound stupid now explaining it, but it wasn't obvious to me. 
I'm making this look a lot harder than it really needs to be. Anyway, I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna take these four screws out. These four screws all need to come out so I can put the handlebar on. I'm trying to do it without scratching them. I don't know where they... <laughs> I don't know where they're supposed to be. I can't believe how light this bike is. I'm gonna say that a lot over the next few videos of me riding this thing. Just really quickly, I'm probably gonna talk about this in the intro, but I bought a bike from Decathlon you know, five years ago when I first got into wanting to lose weight, when I weighed my, just under my heaviest. So I'd already started on the weight loss journey. I'd already changed my diet and um, stopped drinking, but I bought a bike because I couldn't run. I just couldn't run. I physically, when I left my house, I struggled to walk to the end of my road, let alone run. So I thought a bike's got to be easier than running. It, it really wasn't. And uh, the bike cut me in half. So I immediately got rid of it. I did one bike ride. It destroyed me. I mean, you know, my ass didn't belong to me. And... Um, yeah, I've sold it. So literally, other than that one bike ride, I haven't owned a bike since I was like 18. And that bike that I bought, that I rode, weighed a ton. It was really heavy. I mean, I'm probably doing a disservice to decathlon bikes because they, you know, they serve their purpose of being really good entry level bikes. I mean, it was nothing wrong with the bike. I was just massively unfit. And I probably, I remember arriving at um, uh, a bridge that went over the railway line and I had to carry the bike up some steps. And I remember being absolutely exhausted doing it. I mean, I could probably do it now with one arm, but that's just me showing off because I'm so fit and I've lost so much weight. Right, I don't know whether this is right, but as I ride it, like I did with my Watt bike, the more I rode it, the more I realised things weren't quite right and I changed them. That's how I'm going to do this. I know everyone's going to say, get a bike fit, get a bike fit. I haven't got time for a bike fit. I don't live near a bike shop. I've got a ride I'm stressing about that's coming up in June. I just need to get out and ride. So I'd rather get out and practice and just change things because I've got this thing, I'll take it with me. If I need to change it, I'll change it. It seems relatively easy. I've made this look harder than it is, but it does seem relatively easy to change. Famous last words after we've just spent an hour watching YouTube videos. Uh, I'm just gonna tighten this down. I don't know whether this is level. Is this level? No, it's not. Right, I'm gonna, it's not level, hang on. I don't know if you can see that. That is now level with this. I'm trying to make this level with this, which is what the YouTube video said. So that looks better now. In fact, it looks bang on, so let's go with that. Okay, handlebars on, seat on. There is one thing missing. If you can see this, let's bring it down. <coughs> pedals. I forgot to buy pedals. So I'm gonna take them off my Watt bike and then buy new ones eventually. Well, I'll probably buy some today and get them delivered. I also still haven't got a helmet, so I've ordered one of them. They're being, that's being delivered during the week. Um, I've got clippy, clippy shoes that clip in. What else is there? I think that's it. I've got a punch of repair kit knocking about somewhere, but I'm probably gonna buy a new one. I'm gonna put the pedals, I'm gonna go and get the pedals and put them on. So I've got, I've got the gears here, which are gonna be interesting. I've never used gears that go here, and obviously my brakes. I do like riding in the drops. I do it on the Watt bike. I never did it at all when I had that bike on that one ride. And let's give it a go. <laughs> oh yeah. Seat feels a bit high. I might have to bring that down a bit. Toes are barely touching the floor. But that, ladies and gentlemen. Nearly put it through the garage door. Okay, good, right. Seats on. I mustn't forget to take this with me, just in case there's some slippage. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get the pedals off my Watt bike now and put them on. So let's do that. Okay, right, problem. I've just tried taking the pedals off of my Watt bike using the tool they, that came with them. And they're, really, they're, they're on really tight. I've just struggled taking, trying to loosen them. And I thought as I was doing it and putting this through the palm of my hand. I know there's better tools for the job, by the way, so please, again, in the comments, give me a break. So I've decided I need two anyway, and I'm gonna order a set today, which are probably gonna be delivered Wednesday or Thursday. I need the helmet, I can't really, I'm gonna go for a ride around the block now, but I can't really ride on the main roads without a helmet. I might get away with it around my, around my house. So what's the point of taking the pedals off, is what I'm saying, putting them on this bike, and then have to put them back and put the new ones on. So, that was a long-winded way of saying I'm gonna use these cage pedals. That's pedal one and pedal two now attached. 
I can get rid of this thing, throw that over there. Um, there is some grease or oil or, or some kind of um, substance they've put in here. Look, you can see it poking out there. I'm gonna buy some more of that because obviously that's needed to um, keep the things connected nicely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't even know why I'm pretending to talk like I know what I'm doing. Anyway, this is the bike. I'm gonna go for a ride around the block and I've managed to convince my daughter to come with me. Okay, right, I'm in my cycling shorts, cycling t-shirt, oh, I say cycling t-shirt, running t-shirt. I don't own a cycling t-shirt yet. I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm on the bike. You'll like this. Um, I'm with Scarlett. Say hi, Scarly. Give me a wave. And I've got, I've got flame socks. <laughs> I can't really show it on here. I need to work out how to film and ride, but I'm on the bike. Are you gonna film me cycling off? Are you ready? I'm gonna die. I'm nearly falling off it once already. All right, you ready? Oh, my foot's not in. Oh my God. I couldn't get my foot in. Oh. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'm gonna try that again. Hang on, I wanna be the other side of you. Oh. Okay, foot in second cage. Oh yeah, I'm so coming off this. There's a car. Okay, how do, do I look all right? Do I look good? Do I look professional? Okay, first attempt. I'm keeping these cages loose, baby. Hang on. I, I'm supposed to have cleats, so I clip in, and my feet are attached to the pedal, so if I come off, all right. Can you not film a ride? No. Just about ride. <laughs> not either one of us are going to be very. Whoa, why ah. doesn't this bike stop? The cages are hard. What's it going to be like the cleats? Okay, let's go, baby. Hiya. Hi. Yeah, you? Okay. How'd you feel? She just said she's all right, she knows how to ride a bike. That's very true. Show off then, Show me, do something cool. Go and do a bunny hop. You're not even gonna, go and try. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Please like and subscribe for new mountain biking tricks. Can you do a wheelie? You can't. Can you keep up with your dad? Oh, look at the speed, there's a bump. Ah, oh, I'm not used to bumps. You've got, you've got the bike for bumps, I've got the bike for speed. And turn around here. I need to check my, I wanna play with the gears. This bike is so good. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh, this hasn't even been built. Yeah, this is fun, I'm gonna admit. This is fun, it's nice when it's, the weather's like this. It's like 20 degrees today. This is fun, out with Scarlet as well. Okay, you're gonna film me doing my gears. We're gonna change, you ready? Ch smooth change over. Okay. You've missed, oh, you've missed me. Oh, hang on, let's turn around and start again from the other side. Turn around. That's it. Go up there and go around. Turn around, turn around. Okay, we're going to turn around. That didn't go well. I feel like I need a big turning circle. I'm sure I don't, but... Are you ready? All right, go, go. Go down the middle. Go down the... Oh, I don't want to do it here. I want to go... Oh, my God. Turn, turn around. So you go left. You go left. Right, you ready? Okay. Swap over. All right, gears. Yeah. Hang on, stay there. Get me coming past, ready? Oh, I'm so coming off this thing. Flame socks. Look at me go. Okay, is the mic picking up my volume? Flame socks. Do you want to 
have a rolling start where you turn around and have it, you're moving as you start yeah do that then if you need that if you need that head start because you can't beat your old dad your old 44 year old dad go oh she's gone i can't get my foot can't get my foot in oh my foot's in okay <clears throat> these cage pedals nightmare she's gone look she's gone <sighs> these hills are not made for me these hills have a look look at the hill we're over we're over the rollers around the corner i don't want to come off the bike leg out feel those watts 500 watts and downhill stop pedaling he's coming and break break say again you want a drink what do you want a drink for who beat you do you want the uh, water that's been on your bike for the last six months? You don't fancy that water? Okay, guys, that is the end of today's epic race. <laughs> it's been good, actually. I'm very, very happy with this bike. This bike feels really good. I'm pleased I splashed out a little bit more to buy this one. I haven't even said the name of it. I don't even know what the name is. I probably need to do that in edit because I need to Google what I actually bought. But it's a Ribble. It's an orange, bright orange, ribble bike. So uh, I'm very happy with it. Okay, foots in, I need, these toe cages are awful. All right, I need to get the clipping pedals for this bike. I need to order that now. Okay, the next video, or maybe the video after, I'm not sure yet, is gonna be me going out on a long ride on the main roads with other cars and a helmet on. But yeah, that's the end of this video. See you in the next one which will hopefully be a long ride.